Empire's New Year greeting to the mother country, his descended sons to join us in the fight. The Australian airmen, who landed only a few days before, parade for their first inspection. They're reviewed by Sir Frederick Bowhill, Commander-in-Chief of the Coastal Command, who is accompanied by the Aussie's own leader, Wing Commander Lachelle. And in the dimness of one of the hangars, Sir Frederick addresses the men. Not only am I proud to have you in my command, but I'm also proud <coughs> that you are here to help us in our very great task. The Australians are to have their first experience with the RAF Coastal Command defending the shores of Britain. And are they happy to get down to work? OK, brother. And now it's welcome to the second contingent of the Canadian Active Service Force. They arrive at a west coast port after crossing the Atlantic safely thanks to the vigilance not only of the Royal Navy, but also of an escort of French warships. And they bring with them the message that all the Empire stands together in the fight for freedom. Here are the faces of the sons of the Empire. They know that our battle is theirs too, and that in the final victory all the world will share in security and freedom. So look out, Hitler. Here we come. 